after sunset. So, what did you do? At the policia, I mean. I, uh, I worked as an investigator of sorts. Is that where you learned to draw? Yeah. Have you ever thought about taking up painting? You know, like, art and stuff. I haven't, um... <laughs> You'd probably be good at it. You should go down and meet up with Aldo. It's getting late. Sure, yeah. He should be at the church by now. The place looks so different at night. The lighting's so dramatic. There he is. He's waiting in the church garden, as promised. Good. I'm on my way. Looks like the priest got in the way. Did you see what just happened? The moment we started talking, Eusebio noticed us and made his way over. He interrupted Aldo and pretty much dragged him away. Did Aldo get the chance to say anything at all? He talked about seeing some tall fellow by the cabaret, nicely dressed. Mm, we saw a really nicely dressed person talking in the yard that person who later cried then Eusebio interrupted him nothing else not really said he heard the shot right as it came through the archway he took off the moment he saw the body maybe there's some other way to get that information from Aldo hey maybe Aldo tells Eusebio more chess why don't you sneak over? See if you can hear them talking. Under the pillars? Yeah, they won't notice you. word of the shooting. Uh, we're gonna have to look for other clues for now. I can't get over how cute some of these characters look. Just adorable. Anna, are you there? Jorge, I was hoping you'd call. Did you find the killer? Nothing yet. Nothing yet, but we're on it. I see. Who did your friend talk to? She's not my friend. I'm just helping her investigate a story. Sounds friendly to me. Eusebio said he didn't see a thing. And he interfered with Melinda when she tried to question Aldo. Padre is just being a good shepherd, protecting his flock. Hmm. 
And what would Aldo need protection from? Who knows? But they are close. I'm sure Padre has his reasons. Melinda went and talked to Lola. She's a... Singer at the cabaret. Yes, I know her. Cute one. And popular. Is that so? Even the waiter at the cafe is trying to woo her. Seeing them takes me back to my younger years. Hmm. <laughs> Noted. We contacted the mechanics. No luck, said they were fast asleep. I think I saw the lights on in there. But the angle from my apartment makes it hard to make it out. Interesting. Thanks for your help. We'll talk more some other time. Let me know when I can come over with some home-cooked fideua. Shrimp fresh from the harbor. <laughs> it's been too long since we sat down for a chat. Yeah, thanks. I'll be in touch. Is that a, a printing press? Printing, a printing press in a mechanics shop? That's a bit strange. I think those mechanics are up to something. This is getting weird. They're concerned about getting in trouble, about people noticing them. So they are up to something? They didn't sound like criminals. More like they're trying to hide something. Them and everyone else around here. They talked about a beggar being there last night. I knew it. They are witnesses. And they lied to you. Guess so. Wonder why they would lie. This isn't getting me anywhere. People have too much baggage. I'll see if I can spot something. Lay low. Don't draw attention. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Hey. This might be a good time to look for some more scooter parts. Really? Ugh, this again? <laughs> I'm telling you, this is gonna lead nowhere. You never know where a lead might turn up. Let's at least look around for a few minutes. Fine. There's something next to the phone booth. Okay. I love all the contrasting colors. That bright, bright blue and then that deep reddish orange inside. Got him. <laughs> the part's just right there. Marietta can't see it. I think there's a scooter part right by the tree. Outside the repair shop. All right. What were they thinking? Archway. Scooter frame. How'd they do that? Don't underestimate bored children, I guess. You just gonna put that in your pocket, too? This thing is heavy. I bet. That seems to be all of them. Achievement, the scooter gang. <laughs> Finally, I'll pop over to the mechanics with their junk. Tell me when one of them exits the repair shop. Looks like Marietta's heading outside. See if you can catch a glimpse inside while you're there. No need to. 
Oops. Doing better than I'd expect. Done. She seemed happy. And guarded. Couldn't spot anything out of the ordinary. Hmm. Let's be on the lookout for other ways to investigate them. Right. Is that the sound of a car? And what's happening on the cabaret roof? been here all this time, man. And did you just call me? A stranger who fits the description Aldo gave us just arrived at the cabaret. What, really? Could it really be the same guy? Hold on, I'll call in a moment. Yeah, they're the one we saw in the yard before. Are they gonna meet Carmen up here? guy talking to Carmen. I think it's our guy. What's he doing? So far only talking, but not in a casual way. I gotta get out there. It's dangerous, but fine. I'll check if the door is clear. The bouncer is keeping watch downstairs. Maybe you can slip in when he's not looking. Get ready by the entrance. Where exactly? Hmm, where would be good? I think just behind that car, yeah. By the car, to the left of the entrance. Wait for my mark. I guess I can go in now. I'm expecting them to turn around, but I think we're good. He's not looking. Go. Ah. Made it inside. I broke into Lola's apartment. You didn't. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Cheeky little wave. She's downstairs performing. It's now or never. You're wasting time. What about the rooftop? Just a quick peek. She works here. She might be involved. Where is she keeping her stuff? There are some papers on the desk by the wall. Good thing I still have my pocket camera. Hmm. Old newspaper. With a handwritten message inside. What's it say? Some meeting, time and place. Somebody has been contacting her through old newspapers. Knew it. Jorge, I hear steps outside. There's a dresser at the back wall. Quick. Phew. I'll dial down the volume a bit. They argue about leaving together. He wants to go. Lola doesn't. 
She says she's left home behind enough times in the past. They left. You can get out. Why you're there? How about you check the dresser too? Good call. I found her passport. Something strange. The print is smeared. It's a fake? Is it fake? There's also a curious photo. A teenage boy in the middle of some people. In the mountains. The insurgent type? No, more like hikers. The resemblance? Could that boy be Lola? <laughs> what? That's ridiculous. Ugh. Why is your first reaction always to judge? Is Lola trans? If this really is her, people can't find out about this. You don't know the shit people like her go through. I didn't mean... It's none of our business anyway. Seems clear. You can get up on the roof now. Watch out for El Blanco on the way. I've got this. I'm up on the roof behind the access door. They went into the glass studio. Can you see a spot next to the glass from your side? Plant by the ledge. Looks large enough to give you cover. All right. Can you see what they're doing? They're inside. Should be safe. Head for the bush. Okay. I'll turn off the speaker for now. Be careful. They're really close. Mel. Shit. The tall guy. He's talking about a list. Seems really intent on finding it. Telling him about Lola. Seems he likes what he hears. It's like some weird agreement. Jorge, I think the stranger is Policia. He said they have a suspect. They're definitely discussing the night. Turned on the speaker again. Welcome back. I think it's safe to leave. I'm gonna stick around a little longer to make sure the heat is gone. Did you ever see that man when you were with the policia? Never. Could be a higher up. Could be new. Do you know anything about an important list or something like that? The policia keeps track of all sorts of things. Could be anything. Judging by his clothes and this conversation, he's both rich and influential. I'm worried about Lola. There's nothing we can do about it. Wow. 
Why is she running after him? Wow, you really can be a bit dense sometimes, huh? He's trying to keep her from doing what she loves. They care about each other. Besides, what do you know about her life? You can't see everything through a pair of lenses. Hmm, seems like they're making up. Emotions can be stormy, man. I hope they figure it out. Judging by that photo, her past is probably filled with chaos. Can't fault her for wanting to settle down. Yeah, thinking about it. You're probably right. I shouldn't have. You know. There you go. I'm heading back. Waited long enough. All right. Let's discuss everything when you get here. Come on, Mel. Hurry up. Melinda? Uh. Okay, now I'm worried. Toki. Mm. Hola, Jorge. How have you been? Oh, hey. Hola, Diego. Didn't expect a visitor this late. Been a long time, huh? It has. It has. How are you doing, old friend? I'm doing all right. You know how it is. Pretty sure our old friend's gonna be in on this whole thing and corrupt as hell. Heard you got promoted. <laughs> Word gets around, huh? Well, word is they got sick of your crying after I was taken off duty. <laughs> Actually, once I didn't have to drag you around everywhere, the commander finally saw my potential. <laughs> what a load of crap. I know I should have dropped by more. There's just been a lot going on at the station. Don't mention it. I get it. No responsibilities, living up to expectations. Yeah, yeah. And with the election coming up, and now the shooting. I heard you called it in. Saw it myself. It was right there on the balcony. It took you long enough to get the body moved. What's up with that? I know, I know. But like I said, a lot going on lately. Everyone works as fast as they can, you know that. Yeah. To be honest, I was hoping you'd seen something. Anything. You know how when we work together, every detail counted. Who's the body? Some pencil pusher. Uh, no one connected to the election, thank God. Everyone's on edge. The slightest spark could send this entire thing up in smoke. Didn't look like a robbery to me. I know. The whole situation's wrong. Help me out, will you? Please. Yeah, I am not telling them anything. No one. Woke up the next morning and there the body was. All right. So who was the victim? Really? As sharp as ever. <laughs> now, we don't know for sure, but it looks like he was tied to some underground network. What, like... Activists? What do they care now with everything changing? Stir up conflict and panic. It's their only cause. Did you notice any new faces around here? Uh, let me think. Nope. No, 
not really. I see. Oh, hey, I just wanted to say, uh, I know you've had it rough. And the pain, and I can only imagine the boredom. It wasn't your fault. You know that, right? I should have been there when it happened. It's all in the past. Forget it. Right. Well, uh, well, back to the problem at hand, huh? Has there been anything out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Nope. There's nothing more. If there was, I would have told you. Of course. I know that you're on our side. And, uh, what side is that? Tradition. Of course. Mm, the tradition of oppression. Another visitor? You're quite popular, pal. Hmm. This isn't good. Please don't be Melinda. Hola. Oh, thank God. Oh, hey, kid. Good to see you. Mama said to bring you some leftovers. We just had dinner. That's terribly nice of her. Tell your mom I said thanks. Yes, Senor Jota. We'll do so, Senor. <laughs> well, he's so cute. I think it's time for me to go. It's getting late. Yeah. Drop by again sometime. Don't leave me with the dust rats for too long, you hear? <laughs> we'll do, Jorge. We'll do. Ooh. That was... Uh, hmm. Dodged some bullets oh, there. All right. They probably just saw them, uh, saw Diego coming and hid and waited. It's probably best to not have the two of them meet. At least for now. Hey Mel, you there? Hmm. Should finish up for tonight. Would be best to write down what we uncovered. Don't really feel like eating. Okay, it's a little bit worrying that they didn't answer our radio. Okay. Here we go. The next day, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So far, I'm really enjoying it. It's It's got some slightly hard to find hot spots that are a little bit annoying and that one time that I couldn't find anything and had to wait like three minutes while absolutely nothing happened was uh yeah the, the pacing can be a little bit weird but I really like it like this story is really engaging I love the art design I think a lot of the animals are really cute um I love that one of the characters seems to be trans uh I love that Melinda is a really cool character, and I like that this game is very strongly taking the position of uh, leftist politics and and not being just some kind of wishy-washy milk toast kind of thing. No, they're actually picking a side and the right side. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I think we're gonna wait and/or look for Melinda.